a bunch of new makeup that I've bought recently and also addressing a couple of things that I wanted to talk to you naughty monkeys about um regarding my feelings towards um weird comments involving videos well weird comments around videos involving my daughter and negative nasty comments I got some things to say so if you want to hear um what I've got to say and you want to see what products I used and how I got on with them then keep watching all right let's get cracking um I'm speaking a little bit quieter or I'm trying to because um my kids are still in bed it's the half term holidays here so I'm just gonna let them sleep and relax and rest and just chill out this morning um but I need to get ready for date day so let's crack on obviously I've got the orange Luca on the go which I'm gonna have to start drinking with a straw I've been saying this all week because I'm sure I'm dissolving my teeth <laughs> But I ain't going sugar free, so there we go. Um, right, let's crack on with the cleanser. Cleanser? No, I'm not awake yet. Let's crack on with the primer, shall we? So, that was very involved packaging, Elle. So, it was very involved. I presume you dig into it. <gasps> Actually, I saw a tip yesterday to put on primer and foundation with only sponges, not your fingers, not a brush. Um, and that gives you like a smoother complexion. So, bear with while I go and just wet a, a sponge. Bear with. All right, so I'm back. So I've got myself two sponges. I don't feel like I want to just dip in with the sponge, like, and then put it on my face and then dip and then put it on my face and then dip because I feel like, like today, if I've got any breakouts, I'm just putting the germs back into there. So I think I'm going to scoop some out back of my hand and kind of do it from there. Oh, oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, that consistency is absolutely bizarre. Okay, so I've got him on the back of my hand. This is the, oh my God. This is the craziest texture, but it's just melted in. Like, as soon as I put that on there, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be way too much. But it's not. It's just melting in. And it does say to give it a few seconds before, you know, you put any more makeup on or anything. So let's just see what it does with these ear pores, of which there are plenty. Okay, so as far as kind of comparisons to other primers, my favourite one is the Fenty Hydrating Primer and that I can literally see it blurring out the pores. I can literally pop it on and watch the pores just get that blurred effect to them. I'm not quite getting that just yet, but I feel like it has sunk in really nicely and my skin's kind of got that kind of tackiness to it but it doesn't feel sticky if that makes any sense whatsoever good i'm just i think gonna layer a little bit more here which is kind of my like really really problem area with texture and pores and just see if uh if we get anywhere with that bear with right so i feel like a second layer of that just on those target areas has really really helped a lot is it me or is it taking down some redness there as well all right, next I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Jelly Highlighter, um, which I actually got in the goodie bag at one of the Halloween parties. I think it might have been last year. This is, yeah, Jelly Highlighter in the shade Prestigious, and it's this beautiful kind of rose gold, just gorgeous color. And I like to put this on before my foundation because you then get that from within glow, that very kind of healthy, glowy, fresh effect. Um, so let's crack on with that. A couple of things have been going on recently. You know, usually I let things slide and I kind of just ignore people. Well, I mean, trust me, I have dealt with a lot of people being very negative to me most of my life. And I've just learned to just let it all go and let it just wash over me. However, I don't think I should have to, to be honest. Um, I feel like I should be able to um, set some boundaries for myself, but also set some boundaries for how people behave on this channel and, you know, just how people conduct themselves on this channel because, one for my own safety because I have very clear boundaries in real life with how I will accept being spoken to and treated but also I want other people to feel that coming into my comments and coming to my channel is a positive experience and a you know an uplifting experience and I want everybody to feel that everybody is supportive and encouraging and I don't want the negativity to be honest so we just, we got to talk about that. Right, Um. okay, so I'm gonna go in with foundation. So I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty. This is the Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation in 170. One of the things is um negativity, as in negative comments. Like, have your opinion, by all means. Absolutely have your opinion. And if you think I've got to almost 39 years old without knowing for a fact exactly how loud I can be and exactly the fact that I'm not everybody's cup of cocoa, like, if you think I've got to this age and not known that, 
What do you think I've been doing this entire time? There is not one person in the world everybody in the world likes. There just isn't. Which is what makes the world such an amazing, interesting place. Now, if I'm looking on YouTube for new content creators and new people to watch, or somebody recommends somebody to me and I have a look and I think, mm, no, I'm not feeling this person. Guess what I do? I just turn off the video and watch somebody else because there are billions upon billions of other videos to watch and other people to watch. Guess what I don't do? I don't sit there and take the time out of my day to leave a sh comment on somebody's YouTube video. Like, what's the point of that? Does that make you feel better? Like, hello? I'm certainly not on a personal level. Why would you do that? And it doesn't bother me as in, like it doesn't hurt my soul or anything. I'm not then crying for the rest of the day because one person doesn't like me. Like, that's not what I'm getting at. What I'm getting at is just, why bother? Like, just, if you don't like my videos, or you're watching somebody's videos, and you, like, that person is not for you, they're annoying you, or you're just not getting anything from it, just click stop, click the little red X, and go into somebody else's channel, and see if you can find somebody else that does make you kind of happy, and you enjoy the videos, like, it would take you less time than it takes to sit and write out a horrible comment to somebody. I mean, we all know the reason people do it is because they've clearly got something lacking in their own lives, which is just the truth. Happy people don't go around tearing other people down, so there's clearly something going on with you to, to want to do something like that. Um, okay, well this spot is just not being covered up by anybody, it just wants to be loud and proud today, which who am I to tell it to hide? I mean, whatever. I'm a functioning human being with functioning skin, sometimes we get breakouts, okay? I think part of the reason people feel able to kind of speak to me a certain way is because, you know, I'm little and I'm bubbly and I'm very positive and I'm very like happy and oh well, you know, silver lining, glass half full, that's kind of me to a T really. And I think people see that almost as weakness. Really isn't the case. The whole reason I am like that is because I choose to be. I have lived a very kind of stressful life life like I have seen every member of my family go through like horrific experiences I don't mean one horrific thing happened to our entire family and we all had to go through it I literally mean every member of my family has been through some of the most horrific things a person can ever go through everybody and I've grown up with things happening to me I've grown up with things happening to every single person around me and I've I've kind of grown up with that frustration that I can't stop it, I can't fix it, I can't take it away, I can't do anything. And I grew up a very angry person, I got into a lot of fights, I was very, very angry at the world. For flipping good reason, to be honest, nearly very sore then, did you, did you like that editing? I kind of got to the point where I thought, this isn't changing anything. Rubbish things are still going on in the world and me being angry about it is only making me angry and it's only making me poorly and it's only ruining my experience on the planet and I'm letting these people win. I am letting these things win and the only thing I can do in my power to stop the negative effects of things that happen is for me to counteract that with being positive and thinking positively and acting positively and putting that positive energy out into the world and hopefully passing that along to some of my viewers. I know that I have a lot of viewers with mental health issues, anxiety issues and I know that you know me being funny and silly on camera helps them through a day where they've just wanted to just climb under a duvet and not speak to anybody and I've made them laugh. So one, I will never ever stop being over the top and dramatic and funny and loud because the people whose opinion matters to me are the people that it helps. If you don't like me being loud, turn off, that's fine. But it does make people laugh who need a laugh in the day. And to me, that's absolutely priceless and I will never stop giving that to people. But don't try it. Like, don't try it. Do not come to my house. Do not come to my channel. Do not come to my face and start with me because you think I'm this tiny, weak person that can't fight back because I promise you I will bring out the old me. I am not the person to start with. So on my channel, that is not the place for that. If you don't like it, send me a DM, do whatever you want. I don't really care. Um, if you don't like it, switch off, go to a different channel. Go and like heal your heart a little bit and just go away from it and don't put that negative energy into your body because that's all you're doing. You are not causing me to have a bad day. You are not causing anybody else to 
to do any you're not changing anything that i'm doing at all like your words have no effect on me whatsoever but it is not welcome in Layla land we only encourage positivity encouragement uh constructive criticism is absolutely welcome but if you're just being a bitch take it somewhere else please thank you very much right now i've said that i'm so excited let's get on to the boing airbrush concealer from benefit i've heard good things about this one. Oh my god i was not expecting that amount i've literally just dipped it in oh my god is this gonna have really good coverage wow <gasps> look how brightening that is i've literally just tapped it in and that's actually given really nice coverage and really good brightening under eye brightening <gasps> Ooh. so i'm going to try and put a, the other i'm going to do the other eye with the brush actually okay so let's see if that's any different that coverage man that's amazing god this just melts into your skin Okay, so I really like the colour. I really like um, how it's blended in. It's literally, like, you can't see the kind of stripes where I've put the concealer. You can just see that it's just brighter under my eye. Right, I'm going to um, set my face, I think, just before everything starts creasing up. No, I want to actually try Jelly Pop Flush Blush in Peach Pop. This looks a lot more liquidy than the uh, highlighter. So, I'm going to use a brush. Okay. Okay, so it looks very pigmented. Ooh, it's got some sheen to it as well, which I like. Okay. Oh my God, it blends out sheer. And it's just like the nicest, healthiest glow ever. Okay, please tell me you can build it up. And it's not like, when you put it on, it looks like it's gonna be really shiny, but it's not, it's just glowy. That's quite blurring, you know, when that goes on. Right, so pigment wise, if you're after like a pigmented blusher, this is going to take, I think, a lot of building up. But for me, like I don't like a lot of blusher. This is perfect for me. You're just getting that kind of nice little glow. Okay, it is now setting time and I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Set in Medium Pink. I also use it in Light Pink as well to kind of just set where the highlighter and the contour, no, concealer has gone. So I'm going to use that first. Um, One thing as well I wanted to um, talk about is the custard pie videos that I've been doing. Um, I've been doing them for a while. Oh, that does not look cute over that concealer. Oh, right, so I'm going to use that with a brush instead. Oh my god, this powder is just sticking to that concealer. And this is the powder I use all the time. And one thing I've noticed um, is obviously there's a, uh, you know, there's sometimes a crossover, but there's a bit of a different audience with the custard pie videos. Um, the videos always do really well, which I'm really, really grateful for, obviously. Um, but I always, every single custard pie video will get the most demanding, rude messages, but like constantly. Have you done this yet? Have you done this yet? Are you going to do this yet? Are you going to do, have you done that? What are you going to do? Can you do this one? When's your next one? And the amount of times I have to explain that these videos are not, okay, that's looking a bit better. It obviously works better with a brush over this concealer. And it's got to be the concealer because these are the powders I use every single day without fail and i use them with sponges i use them with brushes that one was a little bit touch and go for a minute i panicked a bit there i'll be honest yeah so i get all these messages and you know i try to explain and i don't know how old these people are this is what this is what i always have to keep in the back of my mind i can't assume that everybody's a grown-up and everybody's you know at a certain level of maturity and i can't i just can't assume anything about any of my audience so i always try and think you know how would I feel if um, my kids, for example, commented on somebody's video and somebody was rude back to them or somebody was um, narky back with them? I'd be a bit annoyed. But then also, I know for a fact, if my kids were nagging at somebody and getting really demanding at a YouTuber, I would still be like, but you like calm it down a little bit like i'm not surprised they're getting annoyed with you so there's kind of that to it and i kind of sit back and don't say anything and i explain to these people that you know the custard pie videos are not my kind of main thing that i do there's something that i do once in a blue moon just for a bit of fun just for a bit of something different if i'm just fed up of doing makeup for a minute which happens with everybody if i'm just you know want to do something a bit different and i want to maybe involve 
Paul or the kids or all of us or you know I want to kind of get a bit of a games afternoon going it's um it's just a bit of fun do you know what I mean so I will then have content I've got content planned now until next year so I've got a schedule of what videos are going to get filmed uh, I try my best because obviously I'm so busy with the kids and everything else I try to like pre-film a lot of things so I will bulk film for the week ahead or for the month ahead as much as I can to say to you mate can you do this video I will always say that's a really good idea thanks so much for suggesting that um I can probably put that together it won't be straight away I've got other content coming out i'll get to it when i can and i can guarantee within days i will have are you doing it have you done it have you not done it yet have you done this yet do you remember me suggesting this and it's like i know you're really excited but again i'm not the only person in the world doing these videos that makes me not want to do custom pie videos anymore because it's just not worth the stress afterwards of all the comments i get off people and all the attitude i get off people then on the other side of it as well i've noticed i get a certain type of comment on it which makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable sometimes right whilst i'm prattling on i'm gonna go in with the medium around the edges and i will always use a bigger brush for this just because i like it into that kind of diffused effect so yeah it's kind of almost fetishy some of the comments i'll get when i do a custard pie videos to the point as well where i will get requests to do like private videos for people which just make me feel very uncomfortable and i do say that to people um and then i also then get that thing where i will literally say to people yeah no i would not feel comfortable in doing that at all thanks for your comment thanks for watching have a lovely day do you know what i mean um but then you get that kind of fragile ego where they're like, oh my god, am I the worst person you've ever spoken to on the internet? Obviously, you're not the most awful person I've spoken to on the internet. However, I'm not here to make you feel better. You obviously know that you've crossed the line because you've instantly said that to me. You clearly just want me to make you feel better because you've made me feel uncomfortable. Like, no, that's not how that works. You apologise to me, thank you. Right, gang, I feel like we've pulled it back with the powered situation. I'm feeling a lot happier with that. So, yeah, so the the kind of the kind of comments that have been making me feel a bit uncomfortable is, again, something I can put to one side and I can kind of say, well, you know, whatever floats you bought, that's not something that turns me on, but, you know, whatever. However, the latest one where I got some, like, comments that were making me feel very uncomfortable um included the comments didn't include i don't worry but the video that people were commenting about me on the video involved my 14 year old daughter now that's where i draw the line so if i'm making a video and it's just me and then i'm getting weird comments which to me are weird comments that's one thing i can kind of compartmentalize that and i can kind of just put that to one side that's fine if you're commenting on a video in a kind of fetishy way and my daughter is involved in that video you've crossed a line there you might not be talking about my daughter but that video you've just watched a video com containing my 14 year old and you've still had that thought so no so just in answer to everybody that's um going on at me about the custard pie videos there will not be any more custard pie videos i'm um, just sticking to beauty skincare hygge lifestyle positivity encouraging people building a really nice community of positivity and um just wanting everybody to succeed um and i'm just getting rid of the negativity so anything that's causing me stress that i don't really need to do that is just making me feel weird and now you're involving my children that's getting stopped so there's going to be no more custard pie videos i'm really sorry if that makes you want to leave the channel i'm really sorry if that upsets you but they're my reasons when you're making me feel uncomfortable as it is but then it's making me feel uncomfortable about something that's involving my daughter the line has been drawn so there we go so that's what i wanted to say about that um don't believe in negativity if you don't like my videos and you don't like me that's absolutely fine i don't a lot of the time don't worry about it you're not on your own leave there are plenty of other channels and plenty of other youtubers and much much more content out there so yeah let's just all keep things positive let's keep things nice and um you know let's remember there's enough negative stuff going on in the world and let's try and keep Layla land and the people in it positive and happy and a nice little antidote to all that negativity going on out there because we just don't need any more of it to be honest all right let's get these eyes done onto the leopard looks 
palette from Prima, which is just very like neutrals and then a couple of like greens and coppers. And I'm gonna go in just with this one up in the top corner as a transition shade. <sighs> Wasn't seeing much pigmentation from that one, but I'm not really expecting to because it's a transition shade. The point is you can't really see it, but it's just there to help the other shadows kind of build and, and layer up um, and blend. So I think I'm gonna use uh, this kind of next lightest one just into the crease and we'll start to build that up a little bit. Okay, I'm liking that one so far. Blending out nicely. Okay, then I'm gonna go into this dark one here and I'm just gonna put that in a very, very, very outer, but very, very subtly, just to give it kind of that winged effect. So I'm gonna find a smaller brush and I'm just gonna change my camera battery while we're at it. Right, we should be about there. I've changed my camera battery. I have no idea whether the zoom's the same. So there we go, lost my eyeshadow. Right, so I'm gonna go in with this dark matte brown in the corner and I'm just gonna stamp that kind of along the outer lash line. Oh, that mirror. Like, oh. I just think everybody needs a bit of a brown situation on the uh, on the outer lash line there right i'm having issues because my under eye is really creasing now and i don't know i don't know what's going on i really don't think that concealer and that powder is it to be honest as a combination okay so let's take the the attention away from it then shall we and put some shimmer on the lids mm -hmm. um right so i think i'm gonna use I think I'm going to use this coppery one and keep it very autumnal and then I think I'm going to do the lip lingerie on the lip and just keep it all kind of the browns, the coppers, autumn on your face is basically where I'm going. Um, okay, so I'm going to try and get my finger in there. Oh, they feel very dry. Oh, God, let's see how it swatches. Mm, it's very sheer. Okay, let's try it wet. Obviously eyeshadows aren't meant to be swatched, they're meant to go on your eyelid. Um, where's my setting spray? Okay, I'm just gonna go straight in wet with that one because I can just tell it's very dry and it was very, very sheer. So I'm just gonna load my brush up. Then I'm just gonna stamp onto the eyelid. Okay, well, I'm not really getting like pizzazz, pizzazz from it, um, but it is very nice. Okay. Okay, so again, you know, we can make it work. That's fine. I really like the colour now it's done. I really like the colour. Um, okay. Okay, loving that one. Um, very, very minimal fallout, which I'm very impressed with, but I did use it wet, so I would expect that as well. Uh, then I'm going to go in with the shade we used on the crease, and I'm going to use that underneath, and then on the very, very outer corner, I'm going to use the darker shade. Oh, I need an inner corner. Bear withingtons. Let's use the Skin Kiss from Revolution. Okay, that's better. I love it in a corner. Just It just opens it up so nicely. Right, then I'm going to go in with the Bad Gal Bang Mascara that Benefit Virgo the Semi. I already know what I think of this. I did use it last week and it's incredible. Um, I've got really long eyelashes and this just coats them root to tip, makes them look really long, really nice and separated. I just love them. Um, so yeah. Just look at the difference that mascara has made. Just look at the, just look, I've not put false lashes on at all. <sighs> Such a difference. Such a difference. Right, um, I've got some bits of mascara that have just kind of gone on my skin a little bit. So while they're drying bef before I get a cotton bud and take them off, I'm just gonna very quickly do my brows. I'm not doing like mega brows. I'm literally just gonna comb some product through. So I've got my Trista Revolution Brow Pomade. I've just realised as well, I've left the TV volume on, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm like happily just watching Drag Race in the background, I'm totally forgetting I'm filming. Okay, we're on to lips, um, and I think for this one I'm going to go with the NYX um, Lip Lingerie Pencil Lipstick 
situation um obviously i'm gonna have a nightmare opening it please bear with okay 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 so yeah it literally is a lip pencil um that's got the winding situation on it so let's just crack on oh that just glides on oh my god i really like that for overlining as well gorgeous So obviously I've got lip fillers in, but part of the reason I've got lip fillers is to even out the sides because one side because of a car crash is um, lower than the other side because I, I like broke my face. Um, so that evens it up. Um, so I do have to overdraw on this side to where the filler is, which, which makes it more even. And this is the easiest pencil I've used to do that so far. loving it um okay let me just go and get dressed and then i will um be back with my final thoughts bear with there we go i am now fully ready for date day um so yeah let's do final um opinions shall we um i think um my favorite product out of the new ones i've used i think is actually going to be the nyx uh, lip lingerie push-up lip color um i don't know whether to call it a lipstick or um a pencil i don't know what's going on there um but there we go but yeah i think that is my favorite one uh so far um i also really liked the putty i keep wanting to say cleanser um primer really really like that one um I'm a little bit, I'm going to have to have a, a few uses and f and th uh, th go through a few different combinations though because I don't know whether the weird kind of texture is because of the primer or because of the concealer. Um, so I'm just going to have to try the primer without the concealer and the concealer without the primer and just see which which is kind of giving that effect. Let's just try a few different combinations and see, you know, if certain things weren't working with other things and I'll have a bit of a read up into it and read some reviews and check out some other kind of uh, first impressions videos and see what we think. The eyeshadow palette I liked, it didn't give me the wow and the pigmentation that I was hoping it would, um, but it was really nice and it's gonna be a really nice kind of a easy everyday one to use throughout autumn. The shimmers, I would say definitely use the shimmers wet. Um, they were very, very short sheer and i like it to be very metallic and very shiny so for if if any of you like it that way as well you definitely need um some fixing spray on your brush too and really really pack it on um, but other than that i really liked it um absolutely favorite product i've got on my face now though is the bad gal bang mascara um so yeah so for my long lashes it's really really coated them and made them look really thick and really long and opened up my eyes really well so i really really like that um so that's it i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've kind of enjoyed my little foray into some new products and i hope you've enjoyed testing them along with me um and yeah let's just keep layla land a really really positive happy encouraging place shall we please um if you've enjoyed this one make sure you give it a big thumbs up make sure you subscribe all that good stuff and I will see you in my next video, but now I need to go because Paul's waiting for his lunch and I cannot keep the boy waiting. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!